Two and zero over rivals on the road, so we'll take it. Um, also, very excited to be done with our eight of ten on the road. You know, that was five long weeks, a lot of time on a bus. I think, you know, some of the the bigger issue with with it, I think it was almost too much time together at times. Um, and I know when you you know you say you have great chemistry in your program and and that everybody's best friends. Uh, you know, it's still, it's, it's a lot of time to be in each other's hair and, um, we're done with that. We're back here getting in class today. The day, the team is off today. Uh, and, and so I think they're just looking forward to being back here on campus for the next two weeks, which will be nice. We haven't been at, at home for two, three weeks in a row, uh, probably since we started practice August 8th. Uh, so we're excited about that. We're happy to be back home. We're happy to be done with the, the leg portion, uh, of the max season. And from here, you know, it, it still has to be about getting better. You know, we're not where we need to be in a few areas. Um, from here, we'll probably focus on three or four things that we think uh, will, will help us have a chance to win it at the end. Uh, I think the regular season championship with Ball State winning both this weekend is, is going to be a bit of a reach. I still think the, the one, two, three, four seed is still going to be uh, up for grabs. Um, even as far as five, six, and seven could potentially change a little bit, but it's it's going to be a dogfight for the for the seeding at this point. I think every team now knows what they have to do to try and get the seeds that they want and what's realistic. Uh, and then the, you know there's going to be three teams duking it out for the last spot in the in the tournament. So it's going to be an exciting last two weeks. We're happy to be at home for it. Um, we're happy to be coming off of two road wins. I thought uh, Kelly Lamberti, Chelsea Bilger had nice weekends. Uh, I thought Katie Post had a pretty nice weekend. Um, I thought Lexi played a little bit better than she had been. Bailey better than the weekend before. Uh, you know, Faith, um, you know, I thought played pretty well at times, slowed some outside hitters down. Molly Geske had 20 digs um, versus BG. You know, I, I think it was a team effort this weekend, uh, and I think it was pretty important, and we needed it. I think we needed it in the five-gamer against BG. In the sets that we dropped, uh, I thought we made we were too high in errors. Uh, in the second set, and I thought we didn't control the ball very well in the fourth set. Uh, and I thought BG was playing pretty well. So happy to get out of there with a five-game win. And then at Miami, uh, again, I think just about everybody on our team played relatively well, did their job, played their roles, and, and I thought it contributed to a nice team win there as well. So it was a fun weekend. Happy to be at home and ready for this end-of-the-year push. Well, you know, we're, we're really thankful to win the East, you know, when we're, we recruit against these teams a lot. We're, um, you know, we play them twice, so it means something to head-to-head to head when you get, teams get two shots at each other to, to beat them. Uh, that means something, but really, um, you know, the conference, we, we've lost the right to be the two seed uh, by winning your side. We've gone straight seeding. So in all honesty, it's lost some of its luster, but at the same time, we're still – very pleased that in a uh, setting where we have a half that we compete against twice, that, that we've come out on top of that for the year. So how does playing like Saturday, Sunday, and then playing again Thursday, Saturday, where it's kind of like an odd schedule? It, it is a little bit different. I think the only, uh, the only inhibiting issue that we have going into this week is a little less practice time, you know, and that's unfortunate at this time of year. Uh, because I still think we can be better, and I still think there's a couple areas we need to get better at. And now Wednesday's practice will be a little shorter than normal. We didn't get in the gym today. Uh, and, you know, we, Friday's practice will be shorter because it will be in between two matches. And so really it's cheating us, in my opinion, out of almost two, oppor two opportunities. But we, we couldn't get in Miami's gym on Friday. They had scheduling conflicts. And, um, you know, there, there isn't a lot we can do about it. Unfortunately, when that stuff gets to the conference office, they're not as concerned about two practice opportunities and getting better as, as coaches are. Uh, I thought BG gave us a, a heck of a shot for them. I thought they served really well. They had two kids who had multiple runs against us. Uh, I, their lefty did not play as well as she's capable of playing, uh, and I think that hindered them a little, which enabled us to get the win ultimately. Uh, you know, part of that has to do with us, you know, as well. I don't think we made it easy on her. Uh, <clears throat> uh, but in terms of Miami was a, a player down. They had a family emergency. Uh, and I don't think they were able to run maybe the system that they've run some of the time. Not necessarily all the time, but uh, they, were, they were missing a player. 
Uh, and so I don't know that they gave their best shot. They're, they're going to be in that dog fight to try and get that last spot in the conference tournament these next couple of weeks. Uh, and so they certainly had the sense of urgency to try and win that match. So I think we got their best intensity and their best effort, but it, I think they were a player down, and it, I think it had something somewhat of effect on them. What did you learn from playing the five sets against BC? Did you apply that against Mike? Well, we haven't done it in a while. You know, we haven't gone five since, I don't know, the – the second weekend, uh, and w when we went to five, I right away said to the team, okay, we were probably due for one of these because we haven't had one in six, seven weeks, uh, but we, we used to be good at them. Yeah, we, were, we were four and one in five gamers, and so I said, I, you know, I don't think that's going to change today, uh, and so we did. We came out, we were really efficient. I, I think what we were able to carry with from game five, I, I don't know if we learned a lot going from five to three in the span of a day. Uh, we were able to we were able to watch the film, you know. On the, I watched the film on the on the trip, and we did a little bit of something at practice. But I don't think we 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 had an opportunity to get much better in that situation. But I think what we did well in the fifth set is is everyone did their job, you know, and we were efficient. And that's what we've been talking about is if everyone shows up, everyone's efficient, we'll we'll be successful. And I think they were. And then we, I think our players carried that into. Uh, Sunday's performance. So I don't know that we learned a lot as a team other than, hey, if we, if we do our job, we will win. We will win games. We'll win the fifth game, then we'll win all three the next day. And it's just a, it's a matter of if we can carry it, if we can be consistent enough to do it over and over again. Yeah, because I noticed, like Scott, last week it was the weekend before against Western and Northern Illinois, it was like Kelly had like 53 attempts or something like that, and the, the stats were a little more lopsided. Yes, and, and that would be the goal. Is we, we would want to keep a, a relatively diverse offense with multiple players having a higher number of attacks as opposed to being super heavy in one or two people. Uh, that, that would be the goal. And, yes, that was an issue with Western and Northern. There was, there was several issues on that trip that didn't go well. That was one of our uh, worst serving uh, weekends. It was our worst serving weekend of the year, um, whether that's because those guys did a great job putting pressure on us uh, that led us to miss serves or whether we just – didn't serve well in their gym. You know, that's where we don't know the answers yet. But, uh, uh, but you know, we certainly continue to learn as the year goes on. Well, Ruby, are you putting anything specific to look for against Ken or Central? Any changes you need to make? Uh, Ken's style is a little different. Uh, you know, they, they'll, <clears throat> they'll throw everything but the kitchen sink at you. They'll have hitters move in uh, through multiple zones. Uh, they'll, they'll do some quick serving where they go back there and right when the whistle's about to blow, they're getting it out of their hand just to try and create a super high tempo uh, to the match, which maybe they play well in. They're coming off a nice five-game win over Miami. Um, and, and actually, both their MAC wins have been in five on the road, you know, which tells me they're a pretty tough team. So uh, I think we'll have to, again, play well for that opportunity uh, you know, in that situation to have an opportunity to win. Uh, Central uh, runs a real, real fast middle set, probably the fastest in the league. We call that a zero tempo ball uh, that we'll have to be prepared for, real physical middles that are having really nice seasons. Their, uh, their offense is rated one of the highest in the league, so they can get after and hit the ball pretty well. Um, and so we're going to have to fight that off and, and hopefully get some blocks and some block touches. So it, it should be another fun week. Yeah, I think we'll we'll take. We met as a staff today, and you know we, we break down a lot of a lot of stuff that isn't important to the team, you know, and we, we look at numbers inside of numbers and all kinds of situations that we have to be in to be successful, and you know we, we're really trying at this point. We've got realistically two and a half practices this week. Uh, you know, we've got three and a half the next week. You know, I count the, the day before a game as kind of a half. I mean, we try to, to give them a little bit of time off. Uh, and then, you know, three, four, probably three and a half more the next week. You know, that's, that's barely over 10 practices or around 10 practices to get better for the MAC, cha MAC championship tournament. Mm -hmm. uh, and so, you know, it's, it, that's not a lot of time. So we're going to have to pick three or four things, and that's kind of what we started doing as a staff today, is what three or four things do we have to be better at to win it all? And we're going to push to get better at those three or four things. So hopefully it works.